All right, Timo, 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 what was his name? Timo something wanted me to look at these three districts, and I was, I was going to do these separate, but then I thought uh, we'll just have a look at all three of them, and this is, of course, Salient OS. Now, that's kind of old, you know, back a year ago or so. Um, it says here, Salient OS is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu that uses the Openbox Windows Manager. Is designed to be light and all that good stuff. So I thought we would have a look at this one first and get it running here on boxes and just see what it's about. So I downloaded it here. Um, where did I download it? Oh, there it is. Okay, passed right by. So, no, I didn't want to change that. I want to go ahead and create that and get this thing fired up and running in there. It boots like the Ubuntu there. And then we're going to go into a full screen and get a screen size and have a look at this thing. Um, and then we're going to look at, uh, what was the other one name? can't remember the other one's names. had a funny name about them. And I was going to do all these, you know, to you know make three different videos uh but uh we're just going to put them all together in one video um they're all about the same really uh that one uh, i can't remember the other uh, started with an n nilis or something we'll find out but anyway um this one I think was a oh yeah this one was the open box then there was another XFCE and another open box and so let me see how can I get the screen size to this if I remember how to do an open box it was the um, let's see was it uh, it was called uh, System tools, sign a video, no. Uh, A and R or something was called. Let's see, how do I find that? Accessories, nitrogen, and all that, graphics, um, salient, something, network preferences. <laughs> okay, I bet you it's in here. Um, I'm probably passing right by. Oh, there it is. A ran something. Okay. Outputs. Um, resolution. Uh, let's go for a 720. And I think you click that. So there it is. And is that correct? It seems like that uh, wallpaper really got uh, crumbed down here, down here. Okay, it's got the workspace switchers. Man, I don't know why they have these enabled by default. That is really ignoring stuff when you're trying to do stuff and that thing is switching because you're hitting the button on the mouse. I don't understand that. I mean, if, if I was building a distro and I was sitting there trying to make this thing and then I booted it to test it and that was switching on me like that, I mean, look, I'm trying to do something. Oh, what happened? What happened? Where'd I go? Oh, what are, what happened? You know, I don't know where I am now. I mean, I, I don't understand these creators that, that if you're going to make a distro, why would you want that on? I'm switching through workspaces or the roll of the mouse. Why would I, why would I even want that? I don't know. Okay, here is Salen OS. Yeah, this thing is a little outdated, a little year old or so. And there you can't click on the calendar or anything that's built on an open box. There's your little network connections and everything. And then, okay, I can scroll right there and get the sound. And then it looks like a power button or something right there. There it is. That looks pretty neat. Then it's got some little rocket thing. It says the Tent 2 Configuration Salient Control Center. Let's have a look at that. Well, that's pretty neat. And DD Buff, Biff, or whatever that is. 
you the LibreOffice, mail readers, you web browser, there's your little terminal, and because of course we've seen the file browser, it is pretty quick. It does get up and move. And I think this thing was like one gigabyte download or something, not that very much. And it uses the little nitrogen thing for the wallpaper. It's got a lot of nice wallpapers there. Might as well get those out of the way. Let's uh, minimize this, close that. So there's the wallpapers. Got a nice, nice wallpapers there. That one looks really nice. So not a bad selection either. Real colorful ones. Fireworks. So not bad. Let's go. I already like that one right there. That one's not bad. So there's the little wallpapers. And I mean, it's not a bad little build if you like open box, you know. And you know all these little distros like this that are built on open box unless they're really configured good where you can use them and have all the stuff in there you know, this one I've, this is probably the first time I've looked at this one I don't know how this one's configured it does have you net booting and there's sound and video it's known player and XF what was that XF burn and there's a little tent to configuration and everything internet firefox guinea and all that good stuff graphics and there's all that good stuff but you know i, I tried to use them before and you know if, if they don't have all the good software and be configured that you can use them they're kind of a pain to use and they're more or less for people that know what you know <laughs> what they're doing with linux it's just not recommended for somebody that's uh, you know new coming over Windows. They'll they'll be lost completely. So there's a little file browser. It looks really nice. And oh, we want to check out the Salient OS Control Center. This is version one zero eight, and it's even got desktop effects. Let's see how to get to it. So there's the little desktop effects. And this looks like the uh, Compton, if you remember the, uh, what's it called, um, Paranoia or something it's called. That's what this is, but it's just got a different theme on it, so it looks a little bigger. That's all your shadow and stuff. So we're going to get out of that and choose wallpaper. There's your theme changer. It looks like the XFCE and preferred applications open box configuration theme manager so that's pretty neat little theme manager there different little themes there's the light dm login pc information so there's the pc information so that's pretty cool graphics audio sensors hard drive and all that Good information there. System configuration. Pretty neat little uh, control panel. And kernel remover and all that. Snap package manager. Uh, configure the mouse and all the other, other settings. So not a bad little control center there. You know, not bad at all. And let's see, I don't know what this little rocket thing here. Let's just click on it. Root password. Uh, I think it was live. I'm not sure. Let's see. If that goes. There it is. Oh, that's the Tentu Configuration Manager. Okay, there's the themes. There's all your Tentu panel themes and all that. That's the about and all that. So, not a bad little uh, build here. Uh, I mean, I've heard about this one. I've, this is probably the first time I've checked it out. Uh, just never uh you know got around to it i guess um but there was one that uh, of these open boxes a long time ago that uh caught my attention and that one was called bunsen labs and i actually installed that on my hardware and used it there for a little bit i had it all configured and everything but at the time i was playing uh war thunder and it just wouldn't play the game. I mean, it would play the game, but the colors were not right. And I, I have a video on that. Uh, the tank looked chrome. I mean, it looked stripped of all its color. It was just a chrome tank. And then I couldn't see the other players very good. 
and I couldn't ever get it going and I did what they say to do and just could not get it going and you know that's the kind of the things you run into with these little distros like this that are you know they're just not got all them uh, packages that you need to get it running right and you're gonna have to get it going yourself but uh, this was pretty neat so uh, there's the web browser snap package manager it's got a lot of good software on it uh, not too loaded but enough stuff to get you going and it is open box so you know it's gonna be quick let's see how quick it is <laughs> This really is quick. You click on something, it goes. And in this thing, you know, it's a year old, so <clears throat> you know, I don't know if it's going to be updated. Uh, it has got some, you know, outdated software like uh, LibreOffice there. But I am running this thing live. I haven't updated or anything. I just saw that the uh, date, the last post was like a year ago. So that's the Salem OS not a bad little build here you shut that down let's got these little icons here so let's have a look at let's see, what was the name of the other one can't remember the name uh, let's knock this out of here and let's see can I get out of this yet okay the other one was Neelium Neelium and this one here okay they got other ones and this helium the dev one this one is uh, d built on devion and devion is um they something about system d um the devion uh Debian went w without or with system D and these other people didn't like that so <laughs> there it says right here Debian is quite snappy and it's without system D so Debian went with system D and they didn't like system D so they created Debian so this thing is based on Debian now they did okay I think I downloaded the one for open box or, or let's see which one did I download I think it was open box but or no was it XFCE now they do have mate and uh, open box but I couldn't find the mate one so but anyway he wanted to look at this one here so that's what we're going to look at so let's fire that up here um, and that yeah it was the XFCE one so we're going to Neelium or I think that's how it's pronounced see how quick this thing let me go to full screen on it and come on let's go Okay, um, I think the password was live and live. It's not the quickest booting out of the bunch. But it is an XFCE, so let's go to the panels, or what's it called, screen display settings here. Let's get a 720, and that ought to work. So, it, I mean, it's an XFCE, it's built on Devion, uh, and so there's your little clock and counter and everything, internet connections, pops up this little thing for your internet connections and language settings task manager and all that there's the whisker menu i think this thing was also about a gigabyte download 
So here's your accessories, calculators and all that good stuff, screenshots, task manager and all that good stuff, development, games, got the favorite little game, and it's got GIMP on there and everything, VLC, ABI Word, uh, the little calendar, there's the display settings, Gparted, and screensavers, snap package manager, all your normal XFCE uh, e stuff, HTOP, and let's see what else. I don't see anything out of the nor ordinary, you know, XFCE. Um, there's your control panel, and here's your appearance. Got all the Murray themes, Adwata, all the XFCE, a couple icons, and all that good stuff. And let's have a look at backgrounds, see what kind of backgrounds they got. Uh, looks like a bunch of flowers, that's about it. There's different flowers. So, I mean, you know, um, other than it's built on the Davion, and I don't know what the big deal about that is. You know, you want to move forward and have a new technology. And there's people that saying, oh, you know, get their butt hurt and don't want that new technology. And then they built this or something. Um, I don't know, man. You know, I, I don't care. I, I just want it to work. You know, I don't care what it's built on. I, I just want it to work. So, I don't know, that's just uh, how it is. I mean, it, because uh, Linux is, uh, you know, the way it is, uh, that these things happen, <laughs> you know. That's why we have so many different distros, because uh, everyone's going in one direction, and people are going in this direction, and, you know. So, I mean, it's an XFCE build. And it's a Debian, based on Debian. So, what else can I say about it? <laughs> you know, that's it looked pretty plain to me. Just uh, built on Debian. So the other one is the same Nilium, but this one's Bang. And let's see. I keep. Uh, I got to scroll this thing in. I got to find my glasses. I can't hardly see. So uh, this is a minimalist, min, minimalist uh, Debian uh, Jesse and open box window manager auto updating menu. Uh, move the cursor to the left bottom edge. Cause the menu from any point of the screen. Right click, all right, uh, and all that good stuff. So this one's going to be an open box. And oh, wrong switcher thing. And let's go to this one. Nelium Bang. And did I hit that? Okay, let's go. And we can find a screen size on this one. And this was another open box. Um, I think the uh, Bunsen Labs is also an open box. Uh, but that one was just pretty neat. I, I liked open. I, I think it was something with the name. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was kind of neat. Um, I actually thought, you know, I, I once I looked at it, I thought, you know what, I'm going to install this. And I installed it. It just caught, you know, it, it. I guess that applies to any of these distros. You know, if it's something that just catches you about it, you're going to say, you know, I want to install this. And that's what happened with Bunsen Labs. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. I, I got it all installed, got it all configured and everything. And, you know, I could have continued using it because it was working great. So, uh, this is open box. So, let's see. Um, how do I get the uh, screen size? Make sure I got the screen size here right. Applications, settings. There it is. And that's all you know what it's really about just uh let's put it on that if it catches your attention and you like it 
you know, and it's got a good base on it, and the uh, thing is being updated, that's all that really matters. And you know, if it works for you, great. So there's all that, a uh, little clock and calendar and everything. It does have a panel at the bottom. This is open box. And again, this thing's about one gigabyte download. There's your little web browser. I'm sure it's gonna be blazing fast. There's your little terminal. It's got Gini, Ice Weasel, browser, file manager. It's got Google Documents. Let's see, applications, bulk rename, calculators and all that good stuff internet uh farzilla hex chat and ice whistle transmission and all that graphics uh it's got gimp and everything uh pulse audio xf burn vlc so it's got a lot of good software on it development and they got guinea and all that g part it um uh, bulk rename synapse package manager and xf terminal and all that and then here's all your power settings so there's the browser and again this thing was built on Debian so uh, I think uh, Bunsen lab was built on Debian and I mean I was happy with it you know just it was something about it that caught my attention and I was using it and I had it all configured with a little docky and everything and uh, it was just you know working but I I would have kept it if I could have played my game with it, but I uh, just couldn't get it going, so uh, I had to move on. And you know, there's always something comes, you know, something else comes along, and you know, you just find something different. That's just how it works. So, I mean, I was a KDE user for a long time, so you know, I was stuck on KDE for a while. And right now, I look at KDE, and I'm thinking, nah, uh, I don't want to look at KDE. So this is another little build. You know, this is just like. Um, Bunsen Labs and you see I think you can get in here if I remember how to um, move the panel to the top and everything uh, the tint to edit the tint to I think it's good and, and the cool thing about uh, the Bunsen Labs I don't know if this tint to has it um, it had that little separator and I thought that was pretty neat let's see edit the tint to Oh, uh, and it has that switcher on there. Why do they do that? You're trying to do something and you scroll the mouse and it switches. I don't understand that. Uh, I really don't. So somewhere in here, <clears throat> you can... Uh, there, panel. The... Um, oh, that's auto-hide. Uh, panel bottom you come in here and you can say top uh, I think the uh, Bunsen labs had it a little bit better I think they had um, something a little bit better let's see somewhere you come in here save and uh, then you come in here and restart it and it should put it at no it didn't put it at the top well, let's try that again. Edit the tint uh, panel auto hide panel top. Oh, that's panel layer. Panel position. Okay, yeah, I think the uh, uh, Bunsen Labs had it a little different where you could just click on it and it would take off. And it was just set up a little easier, you know, especially for someone new coming over to it. But there it is, there's at the top. And I had it all set up and it, and it had the uh, panel, the Bunsen Labs has the little panel. It is the Tint 2 panel, but it has a dual panel. It's like, you can go to this workspace, have things on this workspace, and I'll, I'll, that's another thing that caught me about it. I thought it was pretty neat. But uh, there it goes, it's a uh, open box. And there's all your settings. And let's see if we can get to any kind. I don't know if you're going to be able to get to wallpapers unless it has the uh, nitrogen or something on it. Settings. There is screen savers. The panel tint to power management, customizer, preferred applications, and all that. System settings. Thunar root H top. 
and you can see the memory it's using right there 208 and printer settings and all that so um, I'm not sure where to get to the uh, oh there it is wallpapers uh, Bunsen Labs uh, had just a good selection of you know the same wallpaper but configured different and but you know nice selection okay so this one only has one um, you know got enough little software to get you going and you know it's going to be quick because it's it's open box you mean you see how quick open box is and let's see what else can we open up a little calculator but you know if I had to go back to open box it would probably either be um, uh, OB Revenge or Bunsen Labs and out of those two it would probably be OB Revenge because uh, I used uh, Bunsen Labs and uh, you got to really get in there and configure it I mean it's a lot to get going and configuring it to really make it uh, so it's usable uh, but that's just how they are you know so there's that one there's your little calculator and everything so these are pretty neat little builds they're just something that um, you know if it catches your attention like Bunsen Labs caught my attention you know use it you know if it works for you and you got the time to figure it out and mess with it go for it so this is how quick this one is that's about how fast um, Bunsen Lab was. So I guess I want to wrap this up here. This one was the... What was this thing called? Um, ne uh, Neelium Bang and Neelium. Uh, this was the one uh, XFCE built on uh, Divion and then Salient OS so I guess I'm going to wrap this up here uh, that was a look at those and um, yeah alright <laughs> till next time